Hey everyone! Welcome back to my channel. I went through a period of a couple years where I adored listening to audiobooks and that slowed down a little bit because now I have a toddler so when I'm not working I'm playing with her and want to be engaged and my job changed recently where I can't listen to audiobooks while I'm doing my job like I used to be able to do so I, I don't listen to as many now but for those of you who do love audiobooks I hopefully have some recommendations here today that are good ones for you to pick up. So we have a wide range of genres here in these five recommendations so I don't really have any order to these I'm just gonna go ahead and get started and talk about my first pick which is Nosferatu by Joe Hell. This is an adult horror book and it is narrated by Kate Mulgrew and she is incredible. This, first of all, this is a great book. I mean, not only are these great audiobook recommendations, but they're also just, in general, the, the book recommendation. I think a great audiobook has to be accompanied by a great book, for me at least. Uh, so Nosferatu is a horror novel that follows our main villain who is kind of like this vampire character, this vampire creature, and steals children to take them to a world called Christmas Land. And the way the narrator narrates the main character, the main villain, his voice is so creepy and she just does such a good job with her inflections and making this feel like such a creepy read. She does like the little kid characters really well. I cannot recommend Nosferatu enough. I actually think my experience was improved by listening to this on audio instead of physically reading it. I don't know if I would have loved it as much if I had physically read it. Kate Mulgrew is a genius. She did a fantastic job with this one. So truly, I, I think if you are interested in reading this one and you are an audiobook listener, I think you will enjoy it more if you listen to it. The next audiobook is one that makes a lot of sense once I explain it, and it is You by Caroline Kepnes. Now, I'm sure a lot of people know about this book because of the TV show adaptation on Netflix starring Penn Badgley, but I actually listened to this one on audio before I ever watched the TV show, before I knew it was going to be an adaptation. So I will say that Penn Badgley is a great uh, Joe, the main character from this book, and if you don't know what you follows, it's an adult thriller, uh, psychological thriller that follows a main character, Joe, who is stalking this woman that he believes he's in love with, and is kind of just this creepy main character, and you're in his head the whole time, and the whole book is told in second person, and that is why it makes such a good audiobook. So when it's being read to you, it's it's referring to you. While you're listening, it's stuff like, I see you walking down the street and da 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 da. So you really feel like the shivers down your spine <laughs> listening to this audiobook because of the second person aspect of it. But the other thing is, if anyone's seen the movie Frozen, I have a one and a half year old, so I've seen this movie. To Admittedly, I saw Frozen before I had my one and a half year old. I love Frozen. Uh, but if anyone's seen Frozen, and you know the character of Hans from Frozen, so random, okay, so random, this guy <laughs> who voices Hans is the same narrator of the You audiobook. So try listening to You on audio and then try watching Frozen and listening to Hans and not thinking of Joe from you. It's impossible. Oh my gosh, it's so bizarre hearing him in a kid's movie and then hearing him narrate this really dark audiobook. It's hilarious. But his name is Santino Fontana and his voice is just smooth like butter. He makes the most perfect Joe. I actually wish that he played Joe in the adaptation because while Penn Badgley does a fantastic job and has a great voice, Santino Fontana's voice 
for this character. Oh, it's so good. It's so creepy. So I, I can't recommend you enough, especially on audio because of the way it's written and because of the narrator. So there's your trivia for today. <laughs> this audiobook narrator is Hans from Frozen. <laughs> The next one I have for you is And Then There Were None by Agatha Christie. Now this is one that I, I think more so than some of the other recommendations in this video, I think you would enjoy this book just as much reading it physically as you would listening to it on audio. I don't necessarily think the audiobook would enhance the experience. I can't say that for sure because I've only listened to it on audio, but what I can tell you is the audiobook for it was fantastic. And the narrator is once again another actor connected to a Disney movie. If you've seen the live action Beauty and the Beast, which I loved, uh, the, the main guy who plays the Beast, Dan Stevens, is the narrator for And Then There Were None. So there you go. Uh, Dan Stevens is a fantastic narrator for this audiobook. His voice, once again, is just so smooth. It's, it's such easy listening. And he does such a good job with the inflections and in all the right places and each different character having their own voice. And it's just the atmosphere of this book, the setting of this book, and, and the way everything unfolds. It was so much fun listening to it on audio and it wasn't a long audiobook so I was able to listen to it very quickly in a short amount of time and that also enhanced my experience personally because it truly felt like like listening to a podcast or like watching a movie play out like I loved my experience listening to this one so I definitely do want to read it again physically but the audiobook was not upset I went that route for this one because it, it was so well done. So if you were interested in it and then there were none, read it physically or listen to it on audio. The audiobook is great. Next one I have is Somebody's Daughter by Ashley C. Ford. This is one that is an adult memoir. And what I love, love, love about memoirs is sometimes they're narrated by the author themselves. And that's exactly the case with somebody's daughter. This one is narrated by Ashley C. Ford herself. And I think if you're going to get the most out of it, I recommend listening to it because hearing her tell her own story is so impactful. And hearing where she kind of pauses and where she has these like bold moments where she maybe raises her voice a little or qu quiets her voice a little. It, like she wrote the words, so she knows exactly how she wants them delivered. And I loved that about listening to this story. So if you haven't picked this one up, it's a fantastic memoir. I'm sure if you read it physically, it would be just as amazing, but hearing her actually tell me her own story was so powerful. So I, I loved this one and highly recommend checking it out if you haven't. The last recommendation I have for you is Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Now this one is narrated by one of my favorite audiobook narrators of all time, and that is Julia Whalen. So she has narrated a ton of other books that I've read and listened to, like The Four Winds by Kristen Hanna. She did The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab. She's done so many and she always does a fantastic job, but for some reason her reading Malibu Rising was so good <laughs> and maybe it's because i i just love this as a book but the way she narrated every different character her delivery of like these really sad moments or bittersweet moments or happy mo like she does such a good job making you feel all the feels like when i was listening to this I truly thought these characters she was talking about were real people. Uh, and that's a testament, of course, to Taylor Jenkins Reid's writing and how well she does character development. But I also think it really reflects on Julia Whelan's ability to convey that uh, by telling you uh, the story. And, and she just does such a fantastic job. She's a great narrator. I mean, listen to anything she's narrated and I'm sure you'll love it. She actually wrote her own book. I think it's a romance about an audiobook narrator falling in love. So I kind of want to read it. Uh, but I, I just, I love the way she tells stories. And my favorite so far uh, of her narration 
not necessarily my favorite book she's narrated, but my favorite of her narration, I think has been Malibu Rising. So definitely check this one out. It's a great book. It, it's an adult historical fiction following kind of multiple generations of this family, starting with this famous rock star from, I believe the 60s or the 70s, falling in love, having children, and then kind of becoming estranged from his family, and, and it follows the kids' perspectives. It's just a great character study, and I, I, I loved it. I loved it. It was so good. So I had to include a Julia Whelan uh, recommendation here in this video, and, and this is the one I went with. Those are the five books I have for you for this video. I do have a lot more audiobook recommendations that I want to share, so I'll definitely do more of these videos in the future, sharing some additional audiobooks that I think not only can make it so that you enjoy listening to the book just as much as you would physically reading it, but in some cases even elevating the experience of that book uh, by listening to it. So let me know what your thoughts are on these recommendations down below, and then what is your favorite audiobook that you've listened to? Leave those comments down below. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you like to, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.